Welcome to this demonstration of the Ability Lab Voice Transcription Manager, brought to you by the IBM Human Ability and Accessibility Center and the IBM Research Organization. This is a reenactment of a question and answer session after an online lecture where everyone was in a different physical location. Suzanne Cohane, Francis Hayden, and Sharon Snyder are portraying the students, with myself, Bill Carter, as the lecturer. Sharon will serve as the real-time transcription editor. Thank you all for attending the Introduction to Accessibility lecture. Now I'd like to open it up for questions, and I'd like to point out that a chime will sound to notify us when we have an incoming question from our deaf participants. I understand from your lecture how to make my content accessible, but is there a legal requirement for accessible training? It's important to consider accessibility for all training sessions to be sure there is equal access to the information because you never know who your audience may be. Additionally, in the United States, Section 508 of the Rehabilitation Act requires federal agencies to purchase accessible information technology to assure that all employees and citizens have access to government information and services. The question was, do private businesses need to comply with Section 508? Not at this time, but businesses can be sued for inaccessible content. There have been several cases where equal access was not provided and litigation was successful. Will a transcript of this session be made available for download? The real-time transcript you are viewing now is stored in a database and it can be accessed online through your web browser at any time in the future if you ever need to refer back to what was said. I learned a lot from the presentation. Will an audio replay be available? Yes, the audio is recorded separately. We'll send out a link for that after we're finished here. Thank you for attending and thank you Sharon for making minor corrections to the transcript as it was being generated. This concludes our demonstration of the Voice Transcription Manager.